Where is my suit, Batman? I thought we had a deal. You'll get your suit, Freeze. Think cold thoughts while you work on that cure. Yeah, douche, and don't forget it. All right, guys, what's up? How you guys doing today? Dude, Long Couch here, and we're back for more Batman Arkham City. Or Batmania, Batmania. Fuck, I love that intro. So, this game, when I reloaded my save here, actually brought me the whole way back to the start of this area. I had to do that fight again with the Abramovichi brother and talk to Mr. Freeze and all that good shit, but I took care of it real quick. It didn't really take all that long, and I think I actually did better this time than I did the first time I played it. Uh, I got like a 60 count combo or something on that guy, so that was... It looks like the ice is beginning to thaw. Yeah, that's right, the, the ice thaws when you come out here again this time, so... As you can probably guess, if you've been following along... We are gonna have some issues with that fucking shark. But... We're not quite ready to go over Hello, to the Iceberg Batman. Lounge yet. Can you hear me? Of course you can. Thought you'd like a little entertainment to go along with the ice gang. Tell him your name, son. Yeah? Screw you. Oh, this piggy's still got some life in him. Good. Let's hear him squeal. <laughs> what do you It's the sound of an undercover cop. Having his fingers frozen to sub-zero temperatures. Ah! Now, I wonder what would happen if I take this hammer and... Ah! Well, what do you know? His whole bloody hand explodes! <laughs> that is pretty fucked up. Penguin is really kind of a dick. And I'm trying to line up that question mark right there. It's, uh... Wee bit tricky. Because you're kind of at the mercy of this fucking life raft thing. Okay, that's... Yeah, that was good enough. Sweet! Kind of surprised that shark hasn't made another appearance. I know he's going to at some point. But apparently not this time. So, we got the information from uh, Mr. Freeze that we gotta go back to his suit to get some kind of device. Penguin and his crew dragged me into the iceberg lounge over there. He made me answer his questions. I tried not to, but he... Penguin took sure all of us into the, the iceberg lounge to try and get information out of us. If anyone is still missing, I bet they're in there. Alright, so those guys are just talking generic shit. Nothing really important. And I already went in there and got that stuff, right? I'm pretty sure I did, so we can just ignore that for the time beam. Everything still cool in here? Alright, looks like these guys are still in control, so that's good. Not entirely sure what that riddle was about. See no evil, speak no evil, something or other. It's probably something in one of these uh, display cabinets. But I'll be damned if I can remember exactly what. There's a lot of stuff in this room. Most of it appears to be guns. Oh, that's just great. They've got freaking rocket launchers. Yeah, whatever. Let's just grab our shit. So that's the famous free suit. Unfortunately. Oh, what are you doing? When I leave here, wait ten minutes. Then get this over to Freeze. He won't be dangerous. No problem, Batman. That was nice of him. Alright, so we got the Disruptor Freeze Override. Used to remotely disable custom design freeze gun weapon re gu freeze gun weaponry. Bleh. Must be activated in close proximity of target. So basically it's just a little handheld device that we can use to turn off the freeze gun when it's being used against us. Which is pretty darn handy, not gonna lie. What's this about? Skeletons with riot shields. Specifically those are tiger shields. Tiger is the name of the, uh, private military company that Hugo Strange hired to, uh, basically police everything in Gotham. These are the guys, we're gonna be fighting those guys a lot later on. 
Hasn't seen a whole lot of them just yet. What's up with these swords sticking out of this tree? There's some weird shit in here. I don't know that I've ever really gone around and looked at everything, honestly. Skeletons. More skeletons. That dude has... <laughs> what the fuck? He has, a, he has one of those thermal visor things. Weird. Gordon was right. Automatic assault shotguns. The crap we get back at the station have nothing on these things. We'd be sitting ducks out there. I want an automatic assault shotgun. Well, sounds pretty damn useful. But I guess as Batman I wouldn't really use it, so it doesn't matter. Alright. I wasted enough time looking for that riddle. I honestly am not really sure where it is. I thought it was in one of these display cases, but I am probably wrong. Oh, did I just see the green glow of a Riddler trophy? I did! Yay! So, alright, it wasn't a total waste of time. We unlocked a character trophy that I will never look at. Man, I wish I'd got to come here when I was a kid. Alright, so we got what we need. Let's get the hell out of here. So, YouTube's kind of a funny thing. I put up a video yesterday because I was playing some Dying Light in my free time, and I just happened to be recording. I don't usually do that, but I figured, you know, uh, if you don't know about it, they actually did this uh, April Fool's shenanigan type thing where they changed all the physics of the zombies so that they, were, uh, they would go flying when you kicked them. You could send them, like, flying through the air, and... Uh, I ended up capturing footage of me kicking this zombie into a door right as it popped out of it. I basically just like kicked it back in. And I uploaded that clip just because I thought it was funny. And it ended up getting like a thousand views in the last 24 hours. Which is kind of unheard of for my site. Holy! Oh, beat him down! Beat that motherfucker down! Fucking sharks. Jesus. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I didn't forget about it, but I didn't know it was going to happen right then. How awesome is that that Batman just literally beats down a shark? Just punches him in the face. Like, fuck you, shark. Get out of here. Nobody does stuff that badass. Nobody besides Batman. But yeah, so that video I uploaded got a thousand views, and which is like unheard of for my channel, because my channel is microscopic. Like... Hardly anybody's watching this series right now, and I appreciate every single person who is. Anybody who's watching this, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. But it's just crazy how a nine-second clip like that just shattered all my old records. You again? What's wrong with you? Oh, you know, I'm a sucker for punishment. What's the burden, Batman? <laughs> Alright, we gotta get around to that catwalk so that we can actually run up on him. You can't win. Oh, I bet you I can. Can't hit shit, fat boy. Oh, almost fucked up that. Tell you what, Batman. I'll give you this. Freezes override won't work from this range. Come and have a go. What? If you don't scare. Okay, I had to get a little closer. Now it's activated. On fire, damn you. <laughs> oh, you ready for this? With this thing. Ah. Suck it, bitch! You're finished, Cobblepot. No, I'm sorry. Please, don't hurt me. I can't guarantee that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he was ready for us. I tried to help you, Batman. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no. You had to be the big man. Well, guess what? From up here, you look pretty small. Don't look so sad. I've got a little surprise for you down there. <laughs> uh. 
found him down here when I bought this place. <laughs> Comes in handy. Oh boy, time to get a move on. It just occurred to me that I maybe should have been getting some health up to this point. Alright, so we need to explosive gel these things and then detonate them. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that was close. Timing on that is very particular. So we want to do the quick fire explosive gel on these three little. Oh shit. Um, these little energy device things and avoid getting hit by them and once he's down come up and start punching him in the face You're asking for me now. let's see how much that ugly son of a bitch can take And then Penguin somehow repairs them and charges them right the fuck back up. Oh shit, that was really close. And I think I missed that one. Ugh. That's right, you can only hit them at certain times. Whoops, didn't mean to do that one there. Okay, that's two. I keep accidentally putting them down when I don't mean to. There we go. That should be all three of them. Alright, he goes back down, and we do the same routine. What have you done? You nail. You can't kill him! I bet I can. Oh wow, he's there's no way he's done already. I knew it. It's a trap! Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I gotta blow these things up again while avoiding this shit. Come on. I keep setting them down a second time by accident. It's not what I mean to do. Whoa! Oh. There we go. Got him. Oh, now's our chance. Go for the heart. Oh yeah! Beat the shit out of that guy. You and me left. The bat versus the bird. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Jumped right into that. Stay still, Batman. Nope. Well, that was really satisfying, because Penguin's such an asshole. <laughs> Where is Cobblepot? Well, look 
who it is, Mr. Fria. <laughs> Enough. Freeze. Enough. Of course. You will regret what you did, Mr. Cobblepot. The cure, Freeze. There isn't one. What? Perhaps I should elaborate. Creating an antidote to the disease that afflicts the clown was easy. Unfortunately, the cure degrades too quickly. It needs a restorative element, some kind of reforming enzyme. Without it, it breaks down before it can help its host. I've seen this before. Finding a suitable enzyme is not the only problem. It needs to be adapted, bonded to human DNA. That will take decades. Time, it appears, you do not have. What if I told you I know a man who's been exposed to that enzyme for centuries? What man? His name is Raish al Ghul. Bring him to me. All I need is a sample of his blood. It is your only hope. Raish al Ghul is dead. Then you and the clown are doomed. Not exactly. I need someone to tell me where the body is. Then I can go wake him up. Blasphemer! You are not worthy to speak of the great racial ghoul! You are a fool, Batman. You've let your only hope escape. No, Victor. If Rachel Ghoul is in Arkham City, I now have a trail right to him. Damn, Skippy. All right. So we're going to analyze the blood that she left behind. Oracle, change of plan. I'm going after the League of Assassins. Why? What have they got to do with all this? Oh, wait a minute. Is this about Raish or his daughter? Penguin had one of the League's assassins imprisoned in the museum. I recognize the insignia. She's a member of Talia's elite guard. I knew it. What is it about that woman that makes her instantly the most important person in your world? Talia is not the goal, Barbara. I've uploaded Freeze's unfinished cure. It looks to me like the answer is... Found in Raish al Ghul's blood. Okay, Bruce, I guess you need to go after him. But please stay focused. Don't let her get in the way again. Damn, Oracle's got a little sass to her. You know what I'm saying? I like how Mr. Freeze just, like, starts hanging out in here with all these cops. Like, it's just normal. Like, they don't talk or have any interaction at all. Are you sure this man can provide the missing ingredient? I've met Ra's al Ghul many times. He claims to be over 600 years old. And I believe him. Which means something is keeping him alive. Let us hope you are correct, Batman. After all, your life depends on it. Yeah, totally. So, you're probably saying right now, if you're anything like me, you're probably saying, who the hell is Solomon Grundy and what was that fight all about? Well, I don't have a whole lot of answers for you. He's a very, uh, underused character in, when it comes to, like, Batman stories and comics. He's more of an overall DC villain, and I believe that he first appeared as a Green Lantern villain, and then kind of branched out to other stories as well. Uh, the very short version of his origin story is that he was, like, a... I think he was a merchant or a trader or maybe even a criminal of some kind in like the 1800s. He got betrayed by a bunch of people, murdered, left in a swamp, and something in the swamp revitalized him. And now he's basically an unkillable zombie person with like superhuman strength and speed and uh, causes a lot of trouble for a lot of people in the DC universe. Very weird villain. Um, he doesn't really talk or have a lot of intelligence. All he can really say is that nursery rhyme which I believe is why he's called Solomon Grundy. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I know about him. 
Hey, we got a level up. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's, last time we got the shockwave attack, so this time I want glide boost, because that's the whole reason I got that. And I was a little afraid that uh, I was going to have trouble with that boss fight, because I haven't upgraded my combat health at all yet. But it turned out to not really be a big deal. Um, this game has kind of the same problem that the last game did as far as the boss fights. They're really not that good. You going after that ninja bitch, Batman? If you catch her, give her a smack from me. All right, buddy, I'll, I'll do just that. Let's uh, head outside. And see if we can't pick up her trail. I see you have sent a data request on the League of Assassins to the Bat Computer. Oh, and another equipment request. Did you ever consider a bigger build? I did. Too heavy. Slowed me down. Let me know when it's here. Very droll, Alfred. Very, very droll. Can anyone hear me? Over. I hear you. It's chaos here. The boss has vanished. What? Where'd Penguin go? No idea. One minute he was all, Batman's going in my trophy case. The next, nothing. Sip. I don't like it. Do you think he's dead? Did Batman kill him? Has he been back to the museum? The museum's locked down. Those undercover bitches have taken over. I knew we should have killed them. So what's the plan? Lay low. See any of Joker's crew? Kill them. Alright guys. We are just about out of time on this video. Uh, I did want to show you that move that I just unlocked real quick. And I want to hit all these cameras and everything else. And down there is a really easy Riddler trophy. But we will maybe get that next time. For now, I just want to try and get a good approach to one of these enemies out here. And see if I can't get a full uh, glide kick charge. It's kind of difficult. you got to have a, a big lead up and uh, come in at the right angle. Let's try it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the glide kick and then I'm going to hold right trigger. And you'll see the meter charge up as I get closer and closer. Yeah! I totally got the full charge on that. So that actually did a full knockout on that guy. And it did a uh, stun on everybody that was close to him. So very useful. Oh shit, that's bullshit. I hit the counter button. It's a really good way to start fights. Um, that's really all it's useful for. But I still feel really cool doing it, so I like having it. Riddler, talk. Please, don't hurt me. I'll talk. I knew you would. Yeah, you're fucking right, you will. Alright, guys. That's about it for this video. We'll pick up the trail of Ninja Lady and get the line launcher in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it like I always do. Much love to everybody. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I hope you'll check us out at uh, GrownersGamers.com. See you next time. Goodbye.